the boy takes the girl's bag. But when he sees that she is blind, he has compassion. The girl looks for the bag. The boy puts it in place. He proves that she is blind. And the girl leaves. The man says he will take care of it. The girl is walking. But the boy pulls her away before she is run over. The woman tells you to pay attention. The boy says to be careful. The girl says she was distracted. The boy asks to be more cunning. The man gets out of the car. The boy says he should be more careful when driving. The man says he wouldn't do it on purpose. The boy says to apologize. The man says he won't. The girl says there's no need for fuss. The boy says that the man owes an apology. The man tells the girl to stop following him. She says she just came to walk in the square. The man says he knows she is following him. The man's girlfriend says to go back. The girl says she knows that voice. And the woman recognizes the girl. And she asks her boyfriend for an explanation. He says it's a simple coincidence, and leaves. The girl says she was unlucky. The boy says to calm down, and breathe a little. He questions what happened. The girl says she needs to go. The boy asks to talk. The girl says that the man is her ex-boyfriend, and his new girlfriend is her aunt. The boy comments that later they say how bad he is for stealing. The girl says she didn't understand. He says it's nothing. The girl asks the boy if the two are happy together. The boy says they are not happy. The girl asks if they are hugging. The boy lies and says that the two of them are using their cell phones. And it seems like the two don't even like each other. The girl says that even though she can't see, she can feel things around her. The boy says he didn't want her to feel bad. The girl says that nothing bothers her anymore, as she was already abandoned on her wedding day. The boy asks if it's serious. The girl says yes, and the man abandons her on the altar. The boy says she will think he really loves her. And he says the two of them look like they won't last long. And it says to ignore all of this. The man gets down on one knee and asks the girl's aunt to marry him. The girl says that the boy suddenly became silent. He says it's nothing. The woman says she loves the man. He responds that he is the happiest man in the world next to her. The boy gets down on one knee and asks the girl to marry him. And he comments very quietly so she can hide it. The girl disguises what he says. And the two hug. The man goes to both of them. The man says that until the end the girl found someone. She says that she found a real man, and that he loves her. And she adds that she is sure that her aunt will make him happy. The aunt says she will do different than what her niece did. The man wishes happiness and leaves. 
The boy says he did it because he doesn't like how the man treats her. The girl says it was a good idea of his. The boy says that even though it's a joke, he would marry someone like her. She says she says that so as not to see her sad. The boy says it's true. And the two hug. The woman appears and says to go home now, and said not to hang out with strangers. The girl says the boy helped her. The woman says she will call the police. The boy says he doesn't need it. The woman says the boy wants to rob her. The boy says he doesn't want to, and the world is small for having found her here. The girl asks if the two know each other. The woman says the boy robbed the office. The girl says that the boy helped her and she almost dies. The woman says the boy is on provisional release. The boy says that after the investigations everyone will know his innocence. The woman says she won't listen to him anymore and calls the girl to leave. She says she doesn't believe the boy did this. The woman says she's her older sister and she knows what's best. The girl says she will come back to see the boy. She goes to the square. The boy is selling snacks. The boy greets the girl. She says she is looking for him. The boy asks what happened. She says she would like to give it. The boy says not to go hungry. She says that's not it. The boy says it was a joke because he is hungry and would like to say something. She asks if he is married. The boy says no and wanted to say that the day he met her, he almost stole her. The girl says she knows. He asks how he knows. The girl says she felt it, and she didn't even have any money in her purse. The boy says he was fired, and he's not a thief, he was just hungry, and they're accusing him of stealing, and he didn't do it. And now what's left is to go out and sell snacks. The girl says she can talk to her sister to try to help him. He asks if it's serious. The girl says she can try to help with the investigations. He thanks him and asks how he is. The girl says she is doing very well, as the doctor said she can see again. The boy says it's great. And he says the girl's smile is beautiful. The girl thanks her. The boy says that he saw her ex crawling in the square, he even had a cane. The girl says that her ex made his choices. The boy says he shouldn't have said anything. The girl says she has already overcome it. The man falls to the floor. The boy asks to wait. The boy says he can help the man. The girl recognizes her ex's voice. The man claims to be himself. The girl asks what happened to him. The man says he is losing movement. And he's looking for his wife. The woman appears and says that it looks like the girl is still with the useless boy. The man asks where his wife was. The woman says she can't stand doing things for him anymore. And she tells him to hurry up. And she keeps saying hurtful words to the man. 
The guy says their marriage is horrible, and the girl says she hopes it gets better. The boy says that the woman treats the man badly. The girl says it was the man's choice. The boy asks if he would agree to go out with him. She asks if it's serious. He says yes, only if she wants. The girl asks if he isn't ashamed of going out with a blind woman. The boy says it's an honor. She asks where she wants to go. He says, go for a walk. And the two leave together. The woman asks what he wants by going after her, even though he isn't even walking straight. The man says he would like her company. And she questions why she treats him so badly. The woman says to do something and get off her back, otherwise she won't separate from him. The boy asks if he is her ex. The girl says he's in bad shape. The boy says he is getting worse every day. The girl says it's good to talk to him, and the boy questions, and she says she'll be right back. The girl asks if she is okay. The man says he's fine, and asks if he can see now. She says she had surgery and can see everything now. The man says that over time, he got worse. The girl says it looks like he and his aunt are having a bad time too. The man says that the woman has changed a lot. The girl says that if she is bad, it is good to separate. The man says he doesn't know if it's a good option. The girl says that she wishes him all the best, and he deserves to be happy as she deserves too, and says that now she needs to go. The man says he has something to say. And he asks for forgiveness, for everything. The girl says that she has already forgiven, and now she needs to go. The girl thanks you for your understanding. And she says that she has let go of the past, and now she is much better, and she also has an incredible man by her side. The boy says that the girl changed his life for the better. And the girl says that the boy gave her the strength to see a doctor and see again. The boy says it's a good time, gets down on one knee, and asks her to marry him. The girl says it's logical that she accepts. The two kiss. And the man regrets having asked the girl.